This granny square is so pretty. Let's make this. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Tiffany Hansen. Thank you so much for joining me today. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to make the Dream Weaver Granny Square. And really, I am just calling it the Dream Weaver Granny Square because I searched for this granny square in other locations, could not find this granny square anywhere. This granny square pattern I deconstructed from a picture a follower sent to me. A follower contacted me saying her grandmother started a blanket but was not able to finish this blanket. It was a very old blanket and these granny squares, she could not find a pattern for it anywhere. So she sent me this picture and through this picture, I was able to deconstruct the granny square, create a pattern and successfully come up with something to hopefully help this individual, this follower, of mine to finish the blanket. If at any point in this video you do like what you see, please push that thumbs up button. And if you haven't yet, subscribe to my channel and click the bell. That way you get notified whenever I release a brand new video. I try to release a brand new video every single Friday covering a wide range of different types of crochet projects, tips and tricks, fun crochet related things, and you're not gonna wanna miss out. The pattern that I created for this Dream Weaver Granny Square, you can find here at the bottom of the screen. Just pause the video, write that down, go to the website, print off the pattern, and be ready to crochet with me. I will also include a direct link to this website in both the description section and the comment section below this video. All you have to do is click on the link, print off the pattern, and be ready to crochet with me. Once you are ready, let's go ahead and dive right into what material materials you're going to need to make this Dream Weaver Granny Square. The materials that you're going to need to make the Dream Weaver Granny Square will include a size 4 weighted yarn, worsted, medium, Erin, 10-12 ply, or HWPI sized yarn. Doesn't matter what type of yarn it is, as long as it's that size, you're good. A crochet hook, size H8 or 5 millimeter crochet hook. A pair of scissors and a yarn needle or tapestry needle to weave in your ends at the end of the project just to clean things up. Once you have all of your materials, let's head straight over to actually making our Dream Weaver Granny Square. This granny square is worked in rounds. We begin in the very center and then work our way out. Taking your yarn, starting with a tail long enough for us to weave in our ends at the end of the project, create your slip knot. Attach your crochet hook and we are all ready to go. Start by chaining four. One, two, three, four. Slip stitch into the very first chain to create a circle or a ring. Perfect. All right, we are now set up for round one. Round one, we will chain three. One, two, three. That chain three does count as our first double crochet plus chain one. You will then double crochet into the center of that circle or ring. Double crochet and then chain one. So technically we now have two groups, double crochet, chain one, group one, double crochet, chain one, group two. We're going to repeat this 11 more times we want a total of 13 groups. Double crochet, chain one, three. Double crochet, chain one, four. And last one, double crochet, chain one and that was our 13th group you will end by slip stitching into the second chain that we started with so finding our chains we got one two slip stitch to close round one there we go perfect all right let's move on to round two for round two we will chain five one two three four Five. That chain five counts as our first double crochet plus chain three. Now you will double crochet in the next chain one space. Because this is our first double crochet in chain three, 
we're going to say it came out of that first chain one space. So for our next stitch, which is a double crochet stitch, we will actually work it in this next chain one space. All right, so double crochet. Perfect. And chain three. One, two, three. Double crochet in the next chain one space. And chain three. One, two, three. Repeat this process all the way around. I will meet you at the end of round two to show you how we close. You should end with a total of 12 of these groupings. So the grouping is a double crochet, chain three, or you'll end with 12 of these space holes right here. An easy way to count, okay? I will see you at the end of round two to show you what to do next. One, two, three and one, two, three. Perfect, we've made our way all the way around. You will end round two by slip stitching into the second chain of the first chain five. So one, two, slip stitch to close. And now you should be able to count a total of 12 of these big chain three spaces all the way around. Perfect. Moving on to round three. For round three, we will chain one. You will single crochet into the very next chain three section. Then you will chain six. One, two, three, four, five, six, and single crochet into the next chain three section. Great. And repeat. Chain six, one, two, three, four, five, six. Single crochet into the next chain three space. One, two, three, four, five, six. Single crochet into the next chain three space. Repeat this pattern all the way around for round three. You will end round three with a total of 12 of these chain six sections. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, we've reached the very end of round three. We will slip stitch into the very first single crochet stitch to close round three. There we go. All right, let's move on to round four. For round four, we begin by chaining two. One, two. That chain two does count as our very first double crochet stitch. We will now work in the very first group of six chains. We will make two double crochets in this chain six space. One, two, three chains. One, two, three, and then three more double crochet stitches in this very same chain six space. One, two, three. Great, so it'll look like this. Perfect. Now let's move on to the next chain six space. Start by making three double crochet stitches. One, two, three, chain three. One, two, three, and then three double crochet stitches. One, two, three, and then repeat in every chain six space all the way around, you'll be making three double crochet, chain three, three double crochet, move on, all right? You should end with a total of 12 of these groups of three double crochet, chain three, three double crochet. I will meet you at the very end of round four to show you how we close and move on to round five. Two, 
two, three, one, two, three. Oh, and I made my way all the way around to end round four. You will slip stitch into the second chain of the very first chain two that you made right there. Perfect, we are now ready for round five. We will begin by slip stitching into the next two double crochet stitches. One, two, making our way to the chain three section right here. You will single crochet into that chain three section and chain eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, single crochet into the next chain three space, and then chain eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and single crochet into the next chain three space. Perfect, it'll look like this. Repeat this process all the way around for round five, ending round five with a total of 12 of these chain eight spaces. I will meet you at the very end to show you how we close off round five and start on round six. One, two, three, four, five, five six, seven, eight, and oh, we have made it to the very end of round five. Just slip stitch into the very first single crochet stitch. Perfect, all right. We are ready for round six. Round six is a little tricky, so make sure you're following along closely with this, all right? If you are referring to the pattern, looking at the pattern, pay very close attention to where I say in the same chain eight space or in the next chain eight space. All right, can we begin by slip stitching into the chain eight space behind our crochet hook? So go backwards, yarn over, pull through, and pull that yarn through the loop on your crochet hook. All right, chain three. One, two, three. Single crochet into the next chain eight space. Great, chain three. One, two, three, single crochet into the same chain eight space. One, two, three, single crochet into the same chain eight space. Perfect. You should see three single crochet stitches in that same chain eight space. Chain three. One, two, Three, you will always chain three. Just keep that in mind to make things easier. We're going to make our first corner. We will start with double crochet in the next chain eight space. Chain three, one, two, three. Treble crochet in the same chain eight space. Chain three, one, two, three treble crochet in the same chain eight space. Chain three, one, two, three, and double crochet in the same chain eight space. Perfect, that is our corner. In our four corners, you will make a double crochet, treble crochet, treble crochet, double crochet. Chain three. One, two, three. Next chain eight space, single crochet. Chain three. One, two, three. Same chain eight space, single crochet. Chain three. One, two, three, single crochet in the same chain eight space, having three single crochet stitches, one, two, three. Now we can move on to the next chain eight space. Chain three, one, two, three, 
single crochet in the next chain eight space, chain three, one, two, three, single crochet in the same chain eight space, chain three, one, two, three, single crochet in the same chain eight space. You want three single crochets, one, two, three, and we're done. Moving on to the next chain eight space. Chain three, one, two, three. This next chain eight space is our next corner. What you're going to see here is it's going to go corner, two chain eight spaces with three single crochets, and then a corner, and then two chain eight spaces with the three single crochet stitches, corner, two chain eight spaces with three single crochet stitches, corner, and then this will be the very last chain eight space where I will address that with you to close round six. For now, I'm going to go ahead and do this corner with you, work the next two, and I think you'll get the pattern and know how to finish up round six to meet me. Chaining three, next chain eight space, double crochet, chain three, one, two, three, treble crochet, chain three, one, two, three, treble crochet, one, two, three, and double crochet, all in the same chain eight space. Chain three, one, two, three, onto the next chain eight space, single crochet. One, two, three, and we're actually going to slip stitch into the very first stitch where we slip stitched to begin round six. So slip stitch right there, perfect. And this is what we will be looking at, guys. We're starting to square off our circular granny square. That is what we're doing. For round seven, we are making more of an effort to square off this granny square. It'll be pretty self-explanatory in the pattern. I tried to label everything out very detailed for you. So for round seven, we will start by chaining three. One, two, three. That chain three counts as our first double crochet stitch plus chain one. All right, so looking at our stitches here, here's that chain eight. We have three single crochet stitches in it. This double crochet will fall in the first chain three section. Okay, so pinching over that, looking at the next two single crochet stitches, the chain three in between, we're going to double crochet in that chain three section and then chain one. Okay, looking at the next chain three section, it falls between two single crochet stitches. So we will double crochet in that chain three section. All right, looking at the next two stitches, I got a single crochet and I've got a double crochet stitch between this next chain three, okay? If I have a single crochet stitch next to a double crochet stitch, I will chain two, one, two, and half double crochet in that chain three space between them. Okay, looking at my next chain three space, the two stitches on the side is a double crochet stitch and a treble crochet stitch. So I will chain three, one, two, three, 
and single crochet between a double and a treble crochet stitch. Looking at my next chain three space, I've got a treble stitch on one side and a treble stitch on the next side. So I will chain three, one, two, three, and single crochet between the two treble crochet stitches. All right, looking at the next chain three, I've got a treble and a double. So I'll chain three, one, two, three, and single crochet between those two stitches. Great. Looking at the next chain three space, I've got a double crochet stitch here and a single crochet stitch here. So I will chain two, one, two, and half double crochet between those two stitches. All right, so you might be asking, Tiffany, what the heck are you doing right now? So what we're doing is we're boxing this off even more than it was. In the chain three section between my single crochets, I need to add a taller stitch to make this flat. And as these stitches start to grow, I need to shrink the stitch so that way this line can flatten out. So double, double, half double, single, 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 single. See how it keeps it flat? So now I'm rounding, looking at my next chain three section right here. I have a single crochet and a single crochet. So what I will do is I will chain one and double crochet between. Great, okay, chain three space, single crochet, single crochet. So I will chain one and double crochet here. Okay, next chain three space, single, single, chain one, double crochet. See how those smaller stitches, I'm just making the double crochets to keep this line straight. All right, repeat this pattern all the way around. I will meet you at the very end of round seven to show you how we will close this off and get on to round eight. Round eight is the very last round of this granny square. You've got this. All right, chain one, double crochet between the two single crochets and we've made it all the way around to the end of round seven. We'll end round seven by slip stitching into the second chain of that first chain three we began with. So one, two, slip stitch. Great, we have just finished round seven. This granny square has really squared off round eight, the very last round for this granny square just really tightens up the sides and bolts them so that way that square is as square as it's going to get. Here we go. All right, for round eight, we will chain one. We will single crochet in, a, in the same stitch we just slip stitched into. For round eight, we will make one single crochet around every chain and one single crochet in every stitch all the way around. I will work this with you to the first corner because the corners are done just a little different, but all you really need to know for the most part is if there's a chain one, we will make one single crochet. Stitch, one single crochet. Chain one, one single crochet. Stitch, one single crochet. Chain two, so we will make two single crochets and then a stitch, great. And then a chain three. So one, two, three, and then a stitch. Great, when we come to the trebles, we know that we are in the corner, right? So the first treble, we will just make three single crochets around the three chains, three, and then one single crochet in the stitch. But when we get to the second treble in that chain three space above the second treble, we will make one single crochet, chain three, one, two, three, and single crochet again to give our corner more of a defined point. 
So that helps with the corners being pointed. So if we were to attach multiple granny squares together, that would really come into play to help us out. All right, so here's a stitch. So we'll make one single crochet in the stitch, then one, two, three chains. So we will make one, two, three single crochets. Oh, here's oh, we have made it to the very end of round eight. Slip stitch into the very first single crochet stitch to close us off. Grab our scissors. Perfect. Cut a tail long enough for us to weave in our ends. Great. Yarn over that tail. Pull through the loop on our crochet hook. Pull tight for a slip knot. And our granny square is complete. It is done. Great. The only thing you'll have left to do is take your yarn needle or tapestry needle, weave in your ends, both from the beginning and from the end that we just finished with. If you would like to block your granny square just to give that definition, that would be a great idea. Make the sides straight. You did a great job. All right, so what did you think of the Dream Weaver Granny Square? I hope you had a lot of fun. If you did, you might also really enjoy these tutorials right here. Also check out this tutorial, which is just a recommended video for you to watch. Thank you so much for spending time with me today, crocheting with me. I always love crocheting with you. I hope you have the best day, and I will see you with my next video. Bye, guys.